my interest in buying and owning fine jewelry which is real gold and real diamonds is quite new i recently picked up a few pieces that i'm very much in love with and i thought i would make this video to just talk about them My name is Magali. If it's your first time on my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning viewer, then welcome back. I live in Mumbai, India, and I make regular videos on beauty, fashion, travel, and lifestyle. Today's video is going to be all about three new pieces of jewelry that I bought recently. It feels like a very small amount. They're so tiny, they're so subtle. Uh, you can kind of hardly notice them. I'm actually wearing all three of them on my hand right now. <laughs> Fine jewelry is pretty expensive. That usually means that since they cost more, you have to do more research before buying them. This is something that you'll probably have with you for a really long time. I think that's why it's more important to talk about these things than lipstick or a pair of jeans, which is something you can kind of buy on a whim and you won't have forever. I have made one detailed video on my gold jewelry collection. If you like vintage Indian jewelry or Goan jewelry especially, then you might enjoy that video because I've actually taken you through all of the pieces that I have in my jewelry box. The three rings that I'm going to talk about in today's video are from two different brands. One is Forever Mark and two are from Majuri. They're all three real gold. These two have diamonds as well. And they are all three pretty minimal pieces, especially the two from Majuri. And that is kind of my approach to jewelry. If I do invest in pieces, my aesthetic is a lot slimmer and more minimal. And I want pieces that I can just sort of style on a regular basis and they will look very subtle and low-key. Let's chat about the ring from Forever Mark. This was bought in India and I know you guys are going to be curious about prices and stuff. It's a relevant question. They do have prices mentioned on the website but when I actually went to the store, the pricing was way different. So just open up the description bar. I got you guys. This is from the Forever Mark tribute collection. This is one of the first times that I saw jewelry from Forever Mark in India that kind of appealed to me because I think uh, this is more like millennial inspired jewelry. All of the rings in this collection are supposed to be available in three different finishes. They're all 18 karat gold but you can get in yellow gold, rose gold or white gold. I got this piece in rose gold. I actually was very attracted to this collection when I saw it online so I wanted to go into a store and look for it. I did have my eye on a different ring which they didn't have in stock. Then I kind of saw this ring which was bigger than the one I had in mind and had way more diamonds. This ring has seven diamonds. The one in the center is kind of a bigger diamond and then it's flanked by like clusters of three and three on each side kind of like in a pave design. It's really pretty and I usually just wear this on my right hand middle finger most of the time. It's a good fit on that finger. The next two pieces I'm going to talk about them together because they are from the same brand. These are actually not from an Indian brand. This is a Canadian brand called Majuri. They do have stores and they do ship in US and Canada. Now they do offer international shipping as well but if you've ever bought anything online and have it shipped to India you will know that uh, even with just makeup or something you do incur a customs fee and now that these are obviously more expensive purchases i would not take a chance shipping them from like us or canada to india because i don't know how much of a customs bill i'm gonna get at the end of the whole thing these were actually very kindly brought down from us by my aunt like i paid for it online ordered it to her place and she brought it down so thank you very much to that aunt i'm very appreciative of what she does for me indians are the biggest consumers of gold in the world and we have so many different fine jewelry brands in india so why was i attracted to majuri specifically and went through so much of extra trouble to buy their stuff that's because I haven't actually seen a brand like that in India yet. Just the way that fine jewelry is marketed in India feels very alienating to me. I don't really like the designs. They're mostly bigger. There's more of a focus on ethnic elements or just like jewelry for big occasions, big 
diamonds like a lot of stuff and I wanted those small simple pieces that are classic and I can wear on an everyday basis I really couldn't find that easily here now Majuri's jewelry is mainly that it's these really thin really small subtle pieces that they encourage women to just buy jewelry for themselves rather than mostly jewelry which is sort of presented from a gifting point of view just treat yourself to these pieces because they're small they're not super expensive and you can wear them on a regular basis so even if you look at the marketing on the website they just feature like diverse women and the photography is so very attractive the models are just like chilling they are not overtly made up you can see a lot of imperfections in the photos which you wouldn't actually see in most jewelry marketing uh, you can see different skin colored people you can see people with scars and tattoos and hair on their fingers because we all have hair on our fingers and we shave or wax but it exists and that might be a really small detail but seeing that in marketing is something that really resonated with me i wanted a signet ring signet ring is a very classic design but it's something that's usually more chunky and traditionally it's been masculine jewelry so back in the day these signet rings were these giant gold rings and they usually had some sort of embossing on them like a family crest or initials and you could use signet rings in wax to seal your letters but in recent years i've seen signet rings for women they are like more dainty more subtle they're still really pretty so i considered getting signet ring done in india but i didn't really have any jeweler that i could trust and show them a design and be like can you make this for me so it was easier to just purchase from majuri and i did also want a signet that i could wear on my little finger i just really like the aesthetic of it so you could keep this signet ring plain or you could get an initial put on it and of course when personalization is offered i never say no so i got the letter m on it and i think it's just really cute when you're buying rings online it can be a little bit dicey sizing wise so what i did is i purchased a ring sizer and they're really affordable you can get two different kinds of ring sizers you can get a conical one where you can take the size of the ring by using an existing ring that you already have or you can just get these rings and fit the right one and get your size so that's what i used to buy these rings and i was not disappointed i got perfect sizing for my little finger and my middle finger since i was purchasing the signet ring anyway i thought i would get kind of like a set of two rings like they don't match in any way but i just usually wear them together i looked at the diamond solo ring it was really pretty and i had not bought myself any gold jewelry yet i had not bought myself any diamonds yet everything that i owned before this was gifted by my parents so this is special for me being the first diamond ring that i bought myself now the most popular diamonds are white diamonds they are everywhere and i have quite a few of them so i thought let's just change things up a little i actually went with a black diamond which i think is very beautiful it doesn't reflect light the way that normal white diamonds do because they shine and sparkle and reflect light black absorbs light so it doesn't really look like a diamond to the naked eye it kind of looks like a cut onyx or something that's not something that i mind a lot because i know that it's a diamond and i like that the different color makes it a little rarer and a little bit more unique one more thing that i liked about this particular solo ring design is the really thin band and the bezel setting i really love stones that have a bezel setting uh, which means it's got like metal all around it in a circular shape and the stones in the middle when you buy diamonds in india the most common setting is called a prong setting where there are like uh, four little thorny clasps that are holding the diamond in place and that's just really common the bezel setting is something that looks cute and that was another reason i chose this piece even though these are supposed to be like yellow gold i found that the color definitely has a little bit of like a coppery or pinkish tint to it tone of the gold is between your traditional yellow gold and rose gold it's neither here nor there 
not a big deal for me but yellow gold that you get in India is traditionally a little bit more yellower also these are 14 karat gold not 18 or 24 when we buy jewelry in India we are definitely looking for higher caratage which means the gold is purer because then obviously it's like worth more and it has more resale value because Indians do buy gold as an investment as well. When you're buying really thin dainty pieces like this it's actually safer to buy a lower caratage of gold like 14 carat. Lower carat means that the gold is not going to be as costly because it's mixed in with other metals but the next big benefit is gold is really soft and kind of unstable at higher caratages so when it's pure it doesn't hold its shape well which is not good for a thin ring like this because 18 or 24 carat this ring might just break or bend very easily but since it's 14 carat it's gonna have more strength and more stability for everyday wear i am very happy with these pieces i love them and i do reach for them on a regular basis these pieces are like special to me because this feels like me expanding on like the existing jewelry collection i already have a lot of pieces and I'm appreciative of them but you know these I'm picking out so they feel more mine <laughs> there's a special place for everything the hand-me-down jewelry also is wonderful but the new ones that I'm choosing and I'm buying those are also really really nice I do want to add to my collection and I do want to buy pieces that I will wear and love for many years to come that is all for today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this I would love to hear which of these three pieces is your personal favorite or do you not like these at all? Everyone's choice is really different. <laughs> I would love to hear from you guys in the comments and I will see you all next time. Bye!